Okay, um, hi again everybody. Um, I'm going to try to start speaking more clearly in my videos because I have noticed that in a lot of my videos I'm talking too fast so nobody's going to be able to understand a word I'm saying. So I'm going to try and slow it down a bit. I'm just very used to speaking very quickly. Okay, now I feel like a tard. <coughs> Okay, well, in this video, I'm probably not going to make it public, so I guess I'm just talking to the, um, the friends on my list, if you guys even watch this, which I highly doubt, but yeah, I'll keep hope alive. Um, yeah, I'm going to be reading an assignment that I had, I actually just got it today, um, is today was actually my first day back to school, and, um, I just want to see what it would be like if I actually did read it because I might I'm not sure if my class has the same assignment but I was in there today and um, the, our teacher actually said that we might be getting extra credit if we read it to the class so I thought I would try it out this could be like my test run for my extra credit and I'm gonna read a story that um, I had to write a, a love myth and mine was actually called, what was it, Adonis and Euralian. Yeah, um, yep, okay, well, I'm gonna read it now. Hope you guys like it, um, you guys can actually watch it to the end, but you don't have to, that's only if you want to actually know how the story ends, but yeah, um, comment if you want, you know, like, tell me how I can improve on my reading and stuff. Um, <clears throat> it's due tomorrow though, so if you see it today, I guess you can comment after that, I guess if you like the story or whatever okay <clears throat> Adonis and Euralian by me <clears throat> sorry um, in the peak of my reign never had I seen such truth in the years of solitude, seasoned with tears of salt, some of joy, some of sorrow, I received my reward for so many years of this endless task. <coughs> Ooh, got something in my throat. <coughs> I, God of love and soul, had presence true love at last. I, a mere scavenger of heart among those that fear not death, saw them fall in the most sinister of ways. Euralian glowed with the light of her peaceful thoughts that morning. She began her day like she would of any other, tending to her brother Nemel and the herd. <coughs> she wrung her faithful companion the rag once more and continued to scrub the stables clean. She kept on until she was summoned by a curiosity brought on by a most familiar noise. He wept as though he were being propelled upward by his little toes. He wept with such emotion that Euralian, a fairly tough lady herself, could hardly hold back the tears. He was so tiny, so helpless, so alone. Euralian scooped up the child in her arms and slowly rocked him to and fro, as if... <coughs> oh, God, sorry. <coughs> as if by doing so, she were relieving him of such sorrows. She knew he must be fed, and with now cheerful eyes ventured inside and gave him some some of the milk from her morning chores. Now somewhat calmed, the child began to nod off in hopes of waking to find love in his now hollow chest. <laughs> Euralian, determined and nervous, decided she would set off to find her brother Nemel, whom she knew would know what to do with this precious being. Well wrapped in sleeping, the child was radiant, and slowly, yet ever so subtly, was engraving his pale face into the heart of this young maiden. <clears throat> Euralian spotted Nemel and his right-hand man, Erot, before too long in the forest. She continued now with a sense of satisfaction in her mind, yet slowly began to doubt that revealing this beautiful child to Nemel was the best thing to do. On one hand, she knew her brother would give her good counsel, and on the other, she was yet con she was yet to convince herself that he would allow her to stay with the child. Now sure of her newfound conclusion, Euralian began to head back to her humble home with the child in arms. If only things were as easy as this beautiful Rose had thought them to be. 
In that moment, your alien w was stopped once again by a now very f unfamiliar voice. It was as if the winds were calling to her, and innocently and oh so naively she followed. Come, my precious child, come, I will guide you. See if not I bring peace with the young beauty, cried the winds. Astonished but somewhat hypnotized, your alien became frightened. She feared for the life of this small, defenseless creature she was now in care for. But why? Why so much doubt? Come, young one, and pleasure yourself in the blessings of my palace. Come with the child in, in your arms. Come, closer, closer. Yes, commanded whom I knew to be Iliac, god of fear. With, with that, Euralian found herself alone in a dark place. She frantically searched for the child, but felt nothing but cold rock. Now weeping, she began to curse the unseen being that had brought unto her such sadness and, pan and panic. Where is he? What have you done with my precious child? Wretched being, I will find you, and when I do... Euralian stopped. She could hear the cries of her beloved child, filled with pain in the deepest part of her soul. She felt as though the very core of her heart were being ripped out of her in one swift, in one swift move. Suddenly, silence. She did not know what had brought upon such a sudden quiet, but she could imagine what had occurred. Now pale in disbelief, she heard her brother's voice and could again see the light of day. Wait. She felt weight in her arms once again, and simply muttered, Oh, Adonis, don't leave me again. Adonis, you will be called. It was not riches nor a handsome prince that had stolen the heart of this young woman. She was smitten by a much purer love, and within a short period of time came to appreciate the amazing privilege she had of becoming a mother with just one glance. Okay. I know that was probably really lame and boring if you actually sat through the end of this video, but, um, yeah, I'm fairly proud of myself because I had one, well, actually, I had, like, an hour to write this, and everybody else had, like, a week, so I think I did an okay job. Okay, well, I hope you guys enjoyed it, at least a little bit, and, uh, I'll see you in my next video.